Hey guys, welcome to game one of set five of Fighting Spirit Mania round two. I feel like these intros end up being longer and longer as time progresses. Rancor starting in the bottom right hand corner as the yellow Zerg. It looks like Masuchi is starting in the upper right hand corner as the teal green Zerg, and his Overlord is making his way to the bottom right hand base, so he should be able to get the early information scout however the location of his spawn will be revealed not sure how not sure how critical the overlord revealing the location of the spawn is in this overall looks like rancor i'm waiting to see if he goes nine pool again i really don't want him to go nine pool again i actually almost want to see him go for a 12 hatch although that would be disastrous i think in this situation but it seems like masuchi because he has in his what do I want to call this in his bag in his bag of tricks the evolu uh, the evolution chamber style gameplay that has just given him a overall advantage in these EVZ matchups looks like we did see a nine pool from Rancor nine pool gas and the overlord is going to be able to see those zerglings flooding out Masuchi is he going to opt for Looks like he's opting again for a 12 pool, which again, build order advantage plus the scouting information is going to make this very, very difficult for Rancor. Potentially, Rancor is going to go for that in-base build where he opts once again to play a little bit defensively off a quick layer. That relies, I think, a little bit more heavily on not having an Overlord be able to scout all that information in your base. And so I don't think that's going to play out. Looks like he is building Zerglings. Is he going to opt for Zergling speed is the next question. So initial Zerglings being produced. Zergling speed is, is evolving. So it's going to be early Zergling aggression. Spawning pool finishing on the opposite side from Masuchi. And he's already dropped that hatchery in the midst of this. Potentially going to go for layer first. As far as, but we'll see overall. Four Zerglings being built. The Overlord's going to wander in, see the build order, see the Zerglings along the way. Looks like he's getting Zergling speed as well, so that's going to be, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds? Where there'll be a slight micro advantage. And the Zerglings going... That was kind of a clever play by Rancor, trying to hide the Zerglings from the Overlord all the way around. I don't know if it was successful. These Zerglings running across for Masuchi... Lair now morphing. I think he realized the lair was... Maybe he thought he missed a drone in between. So a little bit of a clever maneuver. I don't think it's going to play out, though. The Zergling's moving across. Masuchi has a nice concavity. Grouping. Ooh, having a bad engagement there, though. Now backing off. And this hatchery now exposed. The Zergling's pulling back down the line. Keep in mind, this is a closer reinforcement location. A couple of Zerglings being pulled off. Some drones coming off the line as well. More Zerglings flooding forward. And despite the build order advantage, it looks like Rancor is ahead in drones and has an exposed natural expansion that he's starting to take down. It looks like some Zerglings were able to flood across and get some damage done on the opposite side of the map. But it is eight drones, or sorry, eight drones versus eight drones. More drones pulling off the ramp. To try to defend this, try to distract these Zerglings. More Zerglings spawning, trying to time it. Some nice micro from both players. However, this is delayed mining time overall. Another drone getting picked off. More Zerglings getting picked off. And it looks like Rancor, despite the build order disadvantage, might be able to pick this off. More drones picked off. Might be able to take game one. I think that would be a welcome relief. Five drones remaining. Honestly, I don't know that he needs to bother going after this hatchery at this stage. More Zerglings spawning. These three Zerglings making short work. Some more Zerglings trying to flood here, but there are reinforcements on the way. So these Zerglings going to go ahead and back off. They're going to wait for their buddies to get here. Actually trying to trap and bait these Zerglings down. Now re-engaging. Getting a good surround. And at this stage, Masuchi has to GG because he cannot keep up with the flat production. So game one solidly goes to Rancor. I almost feel like I need to rewatch that one because I feel like I missed something. As far as the overall exchanges. Maybe those Zerglings going across the edge was the key there. But well played. Rancor takes game one. Thanks for listening, everyone.